case of rhombus, as we know, rhombus is a special case for parallelogram. So, here we can see all the four sides are equal, unlike in parallelogram and these are parallel also. This BC is parallel to AD, DC is parallel to AB. Now, when we see, when we make a line, draw a line between A and C, this axis D1, the diagonal, okay? When we make a line from B to D, this is another diagonal which we can say as D2. So, there are two diagonals. Now, why are we considering diagonals into the calculation of this area? As we have seen, rhombus is a special case of parallelogram. So, you know, special case would have a little special area also. And how we would calculate it as half into, now you can say, we can put a bracket here, D1 into D2. Simple. Half into diagonal 1. Diagonal 1, the length of diagonal 1 and multiplied by the length of diagonal 2. Again, now let us see if this D1 is 5 centimeters and this D2 is 6 centimeters. So what would be the area? It would be half multiplied by D1 that is 5 centimeter into D2 that is 6 centimeters. So... We can say that half into 30 centimeter square, which you can calculate it as 15, very important, once again is square. Centimeter into centimeter will come centimeter square. And again, by just seeing this, we can say that yes, this is the area which is enclosed within this closed figure. Now again, very important thing which we have to see. Before this, what we have seen in the previous video, that if this length is A, this will also be A, 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 because it is rhombus and in rhombus all the four sides are equal. So perimeter, as we know is the sum of all the sides, we had written A plus A plus A plus A, which came out to be 4A. Another formula for perimeter calculation of rhombus is linked with these diagonals. As the role of diagonals come here. And what does the formula become? The formula become under root of diagonal 1 square plus diagonal 2 square multiplied by 2. Now, in the question, you never know that maybe they have not given the sides. Okay? And they have asked you to calculate the perimeter. And only diagonals are given, as in this case. Some of you might get confused that the perimeter for diagonal was the sum of the sides. Now, since we do not have the sides, how to calculate the perimeter. But you have to at that time remember this. That if you have the information for diagonals in case of rhombus, you can calculate the perimeter. Which will be D1 square that is 25. 5 square plus D2 square which would be 6 square 36. You would add that, take the under root of that and multiply it by 2 to get the answer. Basically, diagonals, if you are given, you can calculate the perimeter for rhombus even if the sides are missing.